But, girl, I'm supposed to be cutting this fruit, but I'm starting to get tired. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So for those of you that are new, my name is Lede and I am a work from home mom. And on this channel, I just talk about my struggles and the things that I'm trying to put in place to make this, you know, a good experience overall for me and my family. And so I just talk about my systems and strategies and things that I do to, you know, try to figure out how to live this life, live my best life. So one thing that I wanna work on today includes meal prep. Historically, me and meal prep have not gotten along. Um, first of all, I hate cooking. Yeah, I know, you would not think that considering that three out of four of my kids have food allergies means I have to cook all the time because they have to have most of their stuff homemade but um yeah if my kids did not have food allergies they would absolutely be McDonald's babies but you know who's saying um, but anyway nope that's not you know the uh, life that God wanted me to have for these kids um, number two in the past food prepping has left me feeling um, just depleted and overwhelmed and it's just not been sustainable like I'll do it for a day and then like after that I'm done because it's just been so draining for me. So I'm really hoping that I can find a way to incorporate this routine in my life so that it can make my life easier but so that it doesn't feel draining for me every weekend. So that's gonna be a huge goal for me. So the things that I really wanna work on is preparing some baked goods so that my kids can have more breakfast options in the morning. My girl is really over there just pulling out all my stuff. And so I was, I wanna see if I can get that done. Another thing that needs to happen <clears throat> is I need to package up some fruit, dice and package fruit, so that in the mornings when I'm meal prepping, instead of having to dice in the morning or even at night, cause nighttime has been rough for your girl too, I can have it done and just be able to throw it in their bags. Another thing that I wanna work on includes making like sandwiches. I have these Hawaiian rolls that we have just discovered are allergen free. They've removed the egg or milk from them. I'm not sure what they used to have. So that means that my kids can have them. And then one last thing that I've done that I did yesterday was I um, created like this bag and I allowed my boys to pick out all the snacks that they would want to take to school for the whole week and then I have the bag it's concealed in the kitchen because I don't want the girls to find it because they'll try to eat all the snacks but the boys have now been delegated the responsibility of in the mornings after they are ready for school to grab the snacks that they want for the day so that's also one less thing that I have to do and I'll show you guys that system soon as well so yeah, we're just gonna try it out. I know that today is gonna be far from optimized, far from beautiful, but I just wanna kinda like fill out the scene, you know, kinda see so I can reflect later and see what's working, what's not working, and continue to come up with ideas to make it better. So first, before I do anything, I have to do my morning routine, the usual. We got the bed made, but I still need to make sure I do the dishes, do something with the laundry, and uh, make sure that my hot spots are together. Like you see my girl has already started throwing stuff on the floor. So I'm gonna do that just to reset the house so that the rest of my day will flow easier and then I will meet you guys in the kitchen. Okay, so I have some options here that I'm going to make for the kids. The first I'm gonna make are these little croissants from Pillsbury. These are dairy and egg free. So I was thinking that they could have this with some sausage, some fruit, and if it's ready in advance, they can help themselves. I'm gonna make some good old Jiffy's cornbread. 
I'm not gonna be using egg for mine because of the egg allergy, but I will be using applesauce. And then I'm gonna make them in the little muffin containers, muffin pans, so that way they can grab these themselves, be able to throw sausage in the microwave. Another breakfast idea. And then I got these Annie's cinnamon rolls just for like a special treat. Um, for some days for breakfast. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep using it though. Okay, so as we were saying, I got these from Target before and they did not have a make it tank milk statement. I'm not too worried about it, especially because it's gonna be baked and it could change the protein. And I think we've tried these before, the ones with make it tank milk and nobody seemed to be disturbed. But if you have a kid with milk allergy, just be cautious and know that the economy packs do say may contain milk, whereas the ones that I've gotten from Target don't. So I don't know what that's about. tried to fit too many rolls on this pan but listen here I don't care I'm not a chef and I'm not trying to be doing 50 bajillion dishes after the end of this so into the oven they go all right next I'm gonna make the cornbread muffins Okay, so I got all the baked goods in the oven and that did not make me feel like I want to cry. So that's an accomplishment. So even if I can't do all the things on the weekend, I feel like that wasn't too much to ask. And I probably took, I don't know how many minutes, I'll have to rewatch the replay to see, but it didn't take very long at all. And so um, we'll see how I feel when it's time to like put it away, but so far so good. And so next I want to, I still wanna make sandwiches and I still want to dice fruit, so I think I'll work on sandwiches next, and then I'll have the kids come in here and help me with the fruit. How long can you store sandwiches with mayonnaise? Can you store sandwiches in the fridge that have mayonnaise? Can you meal prep sandwiches with mayonnaise? Can you meal prep sandwiches with mayonnaise without them getting soggy? All right, so this is what the sandwiches are looking like. Um, I feel like, once again, not super time consuming, not super stressful. And I know this is gonna help me out a lot, especially on days where I don't have like leftovers or anything to send. This will be a quick thing that the boys can even just grab themselves and throw in their bag. They're not like the fanciest thing, but um, it's okay. You don't have to be fancy every day for freaking lunch. Like, you come home and eat fancy food. Hey boys. You're gonna be helping me make your fruit this week. So, Chavez, you're gonna make five bags of strawberries and five bags of grapes. Decor, you're gonna make five bags of strawberries and five bags of grapes. Why five bags? Because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Like, how many is five of oh, cut five strawberries? So the question is, if you don't want your strawberries cut, you don't have to cut them. You can just put them right in the bag. Same thing with your grapes. You don't wanna cut them? So what we're gonna do is wash them and you're gonna put a couple in and fill up five bags. If you want them cut, you can cut them. What about you, Zebra? Do you want your strawberries and grapes cut or no? I'll, 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 I'll cut. No cut. I'll, I'll, I don't cut the grapes though. Won't cut the grapes, but you wanna cut some strawberries. So I'm gonna rinse. Is that a moldy berry? Um, I don't. I just got the tray. 
Oh, well, you can take out the moldy one. I'm gonna wash these and then you guys will pack your bags. Be cutting this fruit, but I'm starting to get tired. That's how I feel right now. <clears throat> and so I'm trying to decide what to do. Because if I like push through this, this is these are the kind of emotions that make me not want to come back next week. So far, I feel like everything's gone really good. Love the boys' help with their fruit, that worked out really well. I'm still working through getting the girls' and stuff prepped because you know they're not really old enough to. I mean, they could definitely help, but right now I want to get done faster more than I want to teach them so anyway i'm gonna take a break and i will see you guys later when i revisit this whole meal prep situation all right this is how we're doing we got the croissant rolls and then we also have some frozen sausages so i was thinking the kids can know how to microwave these they just wrap it around a paper towel around it and then they throw it in the microwave so this would be like a quick breakfast idea that potentially won't need me to be involved we got the cinnamon rolls. Y'all saw that I did like a taste test. So this would probably just be one special occasion. Yeah. Honestly, these could possibly be cut in half because that's a lot of sugar. And then we have the cornbread muffins that I will also put away. And once again, the kids can have it with the sausage, some fruit, whatever. All right, this is the snack bag that I told you guys about that I had the boys go in and pick out the snacks that they wanted for the week. So yeah, I just let the kids pick out what snacks they also want to take to school. They have these made good granola minis and a couple of different flavors. They also have popcorn, Velveeta, and then I let them grab some little cookies that they could pack and they can grab a couple of these. So last thing I wanted to show you guys was I have this little container in the fridge for them. So this is the fruit that they packed. These are the sandwiches that I made. And back there, there's some little Capri Suns. Okay, I'll get you a baby wipe. Here's some little Capri Suns. So I feel like this will go a long way in helping me get them, get their food ready and out the door in the morning. I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for the day. Um, the piece of me that is still overcoming perfectionism kind of makes me feel like I should have everything done in order to be considered successful, but that's not true. Like. Well, things that I've done so far are definitely, it's gonna place me light years ahead of where I was last week. I've made it easy for the boys to help out. We have breakfast options ready. And so if I still have to do a couple of things in the mornings or in the evenings, like that is okay. As long as I just don't feel like I'm drowning from day to day. And so I really feel like I've accomplished that. Would I have liked to have seen more get done? Sure. But it's my weekend too, and I want to relax. I want to hang out with my kids. I want to feel like I can do mindless stuff today and not feel guilty about that. So, um, and also the girls have a lot of fruit that don't need to be prepared as much. Like even the boys have access. We have apples that I wouldn't want to cut in advance. We have bananas. We have like other stuff that I don't necessarily need to prep in advance. So um, I think that yeah, I'm just gonna say that I'm done. I'm gonna call this a success. I may plan for how I could do a little bit more next week, but I think I'm done. And whatever I didn't accomplish today, I'll just handle during the week. So that's what we're gonna do. So thank you guys so much for watching today. It's my son back there, he's been silly. Um, yeah, I'm so grateful that you guys are here. Please let me know in the comments, how do you guys prep for the week? when it comes to lunches and snacks and getting your kids out the house in the morning on time. I would love to know your ideas and I'm sure that you'll be helping out lots of other moms who are just trying to figure out how to make that morning time situation go a little smoother. Um, and please subscribe on your way out if you like content like this, moms putting their heads together, finding solutions so that we can manage the things that we need to manage at home but also still have a little bit of time to have fun for ourselves. So yeah, subscribe, like the video on your way out. Awesome, awesome way to support the channel. 
and it's time for me to go play with my kids. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.